Yo, what is up everybody? Delta Snappa here. I'm about to give you my first official build video. Drop the mics. Yeah, this is this weird Russian dance. I don't even know what the fuck this is. Let's get right into it, bitches. Alright. I'm gonna show you guys where I'm running. I'm running on Lavoa. C. <laughs> 21 armor damage. Enemy armor damage, deadly, responsive, and brutal. People say you're on console, you're not really gonna be hitting that much headshots when you're PvP or yeah, just PvP, but I do hit a lot of decent headshots, believe me. It's, it's just PC players just talking trash. <laughs> Alright, I'm running an extended mag, 110 mag size, reload speed of 5, rate of fire of 530. Kilo graphic size 7.50 crit chance 2% accuracy 6% headshot damage I'm running an Omega rifle suppressor 18.50 headshot damage 3% crit chance 3% crit hit damage and well I'm pretty sure that last one doesn't even matter a hand stop FAD or FDE whatever the fuck I don't know fuck you <laughs> 27.50 reload speed, 4% crit hit damage, and 2.5 steady. Pretty leaving with the saw rifles and consoles. This is, I would I would admit this. It's hard to control them with the controller. And solid red skin. It looks pretty dope. All right, for my SMG, I'm, it has a crit hit chance of <laughs> a crit hit chance <laughs> of 21.50. Crit hit chance, I'm running Vicious, which is crit hit chance is increased by 10% while you have having more than two segments of health. Probably wondering how I keep those. Just stay and watch. Delhi, crit hit damage is increased by 15%. Competent, weapon damage is increased by 10% for 50 seconds after using a skill. I'm running an extended mag of 111 mag size, 4.5 reload speed, 5.30 rate of fire. I'm running a pro red dot sight with 90% crit hit damage, 5.5 of headshot damage, and 3% crit hit chance. I'm running a loud vent with 80% crit hit damage, 5% 5.5 headshot damage, crit hit chance of 3%, and I'm like I said, this shit doesn't matter. Or it probably does, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, a red small grip of 90% crit hit damage, 2% accuracy, and 5.5 reload speed. Sorry, it's the first time I'm doing this. I'm trying to talk so quick. Uh, pistol, uh, it doesn't really matter. Just whatever you get your DPS, I guess. E. Alright, alright. For my Predator's Mark, like I said, Predator's Mark build, I am running a Predator's Mark chest piece of 1263. Well, recal re recal I can't say that word. Recabulated, there it is, I think. <laughs> of 1263. Health, it's 14614. You can probably do better. Uh, Enemy armor damage doesn't really matter, but I haven't gotten any drops. I would switch that for exotic damage resilience, probably 10%, 10% more. And minor will be ammo capacity. And well, you know, two set, 10% reload speed, three set, eight, 8% assault rifle damage and SS, SMG damage. That's why I'm running both. It, trust me, you mill people when you're in last stand or in the dark zone. Alright, and you just know, hit 10, you'll get that bleed. It's not as effective as it was, but it's still pretty good, and in 1.6.1, 1. it's coming back. But this build, trust me, you'll melt. Alright, I'm running a set of mod, you can, you can probably get something better than this. You can get like a 263, but, but when you're in last stand, everything's maxed out. The health on it, it's not, it's, not that, it's not that bad at all. Alright, running a Paris Mark. Mask piece. I forgot what the roll was. I think I might have gotten the max roll on this. And 
10% damage resilience, 10% damage to elites, uh, damage resilience, if you guys didn't know, it's anything, it's any damage that's not polar related, and a uh, really high cinema mod, yeah, see, okay. I did better, told you, ha! Ah. Alright, my predator smart chess piece, I am running, uh, pff, chess piece, <laughs> Got it. <laughs> okay, uh, Predator's Mark knee pads. Uh, I got 1265 for the Stanamaro. 1198 skill power. The skill power is mostly for my pulse. I would recommend it if you're gonna do like a crit hit that crit SMG build, but it works effectively even with an assault rifle. Got burn resist, uh, increase XP and damage to leads. I will try to keep damage to elites, and the other two you can change them to whatever you want. And I'm just running a firearms mod with health. And 60% first aid self heal. Alright, for my tactical pack, I'm running specialized. It's something I really recommend because in this patch, skill power is something needed to keep, you, keep your health. You gotta keep popping your health like crazy, you know? I got the max roll on it. Well, not the max roll, but close to there for 1270. Skill power at 11828 and ammo capacity at 50. And, pro and prototype stand up mod at 243. 243, like I said, do better. And same health as the other ones. And self heal. And self heal again. And this cool skin you can buy at the premium vendor. I literally bombs everything on there. No joke. Alright, for my gloves, uh, like I said, 1270 max damage roll. <laughs> damage. Well, DPS roll. 139 SMG damage, 60% crit hit damage, and 6% crit hit chance. And I am running a Nimble Holster. Nimble! It's pretty OP in my opinion. Uh, it's good thing it's getting like a, like a nerf, but it's not going to be... It still might be useful, to be honest, but it's not. You're not gonna be like. It's just. It's bro really broken in PvP. That's something I, I would admit to, even though I abuse it sometimes, just waiting for my teammates. But it's abusive, so it'll get nerfed. So, but it'll still be good. You just gotta know how to use it. I'm running reload speed. You can probably do better than me, and you can probably do better on all those rolls than me. And I'm running. Pause crit hit chance. Alright, so sorry, hold on. Run booster shot and scrambler if you're gonna be in the dark zone. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> dark zone or last stand. That's something I would recommend. Trust me. You'll be killing people and they'll have a harder, harder time to kill you. Don't run this. Don't be don't be one of those. <laughs> <laughs> and when you're PVEing, I would just run first like overdose and tactical scanner. But if you're in a team who has a concealed pulse, I would run tactical scanner for that extra damage. Something I would recommend. And well, just obviously this one, recovery link. For talents, I have critical save. It's not what it used to be in the like back in 1.5, but. It still gets me out of tight spots. It's still something I would recommend to use. Uh, tactical, tactical advantage. It's pretty strong when you're when you're using nimble. Like you're getting heal plus you're getting that extra damage. Something I would highly recommend having. Trust me. I'll, I'll show you guys clips of this build and in last stand. Trust me, you'll want it. And headshot and. Whatever the fuck, <laughs> I can't say that name right now, I'm too tired, <laughs> sorry. Look at that, you know, hit a headshot, you'll pause them for 10 seconds, and one is none, which is something everybody should be running. So, yeah, that is it. Probably go responsive on the, on the SMG2, like, like I said. Uh, extra 10% when you're closer because you're obviously gonna be just doing this, this type of shit. Watch, I'll show, watch, I'll show you guys how much, how much damage. Let me just get, let me just get a running start. Watch. Oh 
Bobo. I screwed up. Hold on. Hold on. Watch. Ready? You ready? Bam. Just look at that. You'll you'll deplete them. You'll deplete them less than three seconds. Trust me. It's it's not really like OP, but but if you play it, if you play smart, then it's OP. So yeah, that is the build. The build, and she's laughing at me because I suck at doing this. <laughs> you actually move your. Oh, come on. There it is. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck you too. Fuck you. Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> Anyways, that is my build video. I will show you guys some clips right now. Thank you all for watching, and see you all in the next video. Bye bye. They've lost the lead. Point one. 
modifier is now available. 